Hi you guys, this is Brooke Rogers with Kiwi's Party. I'm going to be doing a demo today for you. I'm going to be using my nice little blue sponges that I get from Face Paint Forum Shop. Also a split cake from Global called Dublin. Another split cake because it's one of my favorites right now called Indian Princess. And it's from Tag. So I'm going to load up that Indian Princess on my blue sponge that I have split in half. It's not too wet, sponge, and then I'm going to put down my little base color here. Get some color on your little princess's eyelid. Alright, so <clears throat> next I'm going to get... I think this is like a one inch brush. Load up Dublin on it. Not too wet. And then I'm going to lay it down, do some kind of little scallop shape. I usually like to flip it over other direction, bring it up and around. Okay. Like so. Then I'm going to get my Wolf Black, blow that up, and, oh, forgot a step. First, before you do that, white. <clears throat> this brush right here is probably like a half inch, you know. We're going to start here. We're going to lay it down. Take that all the way over there. Lift it up, starting smaller in the middle. Let that go all the way over. I want a white band right here. Okay. So, now, black on your other half of your blue sponge here. And I have a little stencil that I got that's kind of cool. <sighs> Helps if that underlayer is dry. Um, <clears throat> lay it down. And when I do the black on it, I'm going to try to get it just on that white area right there. Hello. It's easier to do it on somebody else. Get it just there. Pick it up. Move it over along the arch. Okay. Just use your little edgy or spongy to put this little shape in. You know, you can find another pattern that you like, but I thought this looked cool when I used it last. And then you're going to load up and do your little teardrops to bring your princess in together. So I usually just start over here. Circle, other circle, I'm painting my hair, that's okay, some bone little circles, I always like to do something on the inside of the eye, just so it's not neglected here, just bring it together. And then up here, that's why I said these shapes, I just kind of put in some kind of pattern, but I usually kind of go over most, or some I should say. And you just do your teardrops. There you go. And then over here, where I had this last little teardrop, I usually bring that up and bring another teardrop off the side. There you go. my little prince. 
princess design. And then if you have jewels, I have my little jewels again. Just pick a pretty color, put it in the center somewhere. And then they're blinged out. And then on the edges here, I saw there's some space on the side right here. I would probably fill it in with dots and stars. Dots and stars right here. Any empty space or um, area that didn't get enough paint. Okay, I hope you guys liked it. You want to go ahead and practice using your sponges to do these. Just make sure you get it wet, squeeze it all the way out, and then dab it on um, paper towel or baby wipe or towel or something like that. And then that's, that's a good amount of moisture to have on this sponge. But enjoy painting. Bye, guys.